Hi, I'm Babette Leitner, and I'd like to welcome you to Wholeness in Motion for 2021. The foundation of all this work has been a question about what, why does it matter to understand ourselves as a whole being and a what whole. are the implications, for example, of knowing and, and being able to experience that the way I focus my attention might have effect on my back pain or why my knees get injured. Why does it make a difference to maybe understand how I scaffold the feeling in my classroom will make a difference between how the students learn and engage with the material of what is it like to actually understand in your in your lived experience that the atoms and molecules inside of us were some of them were only time they could have been created is at the Big Bang or in the supernova. So wholeness wow. in the many years now of looking at this subject matter through this lens of wholeness in motion, through movement and feeling, through blending uh, facts that are just bubbling um, up and bringing those facts that we're getting from all kinds of sources into our lived experience and applying it practically to the way I make a cup of tea. more we mine the richness of this, the richer and more alive and thrilling life is, particularly when it comes to the hard interferences and troubles of life. So wholeness, may this, um, you enter this work with us, hold, join hands as we explore this together. <laughs> but let, let's let the planet and the movement and your own system teach you. But I'm going to curate some material together this year and, um, and let's see what happens. In 2021, there are many ways to join our exploration of wholeness. And the Wholeness in 12 classes is one way. I'll talk about those first. There are three sessions, three 12-week sessions in the winter, in the spring, over a little bit of the early summer, and in the fall. And you can get all the details on the website. In this video, I'd like to speak to you actually about the kind of themes or the subjects of the different sessions, um, particularly the winter one, because that's coming up right now. The winter is going to be about laying out the foundations of healthy, delicious, lively m movement. Whether and you're 22 or in, in the aging, the later aging process like I am, how do I redefine aging really that I free and alive and resilient? And that really is on every level. If we can feel that in our movement, that helps our thinking and all other aspects of our life. So the, we'll really go systematically through some of the roots of the WIM perspective on moving with liveliness. We're going feeling. to use information from evolution and embryology to give us a deep root into these principles of, of freedom and our moving being. They'll give us perspectives on sort of how different structures took advantage of the next evolutionary moment to give us um, freely springing lungs or create our, our vocal mechanism to embryology where we can see in the very development of our self in this exact manifestation how say different tissue layers one group, one layer gave us our skin and our nervous system. And how does that show us something? And then another layer it gave us our gut tube and out of the gut tube actually came our lungs. What, what's that deep information? Um, you, how does that help us know ourselves and be in touch with this living beingness that we are? So um, that's the winter in the spring will build on that foundation of our available mobile being to move into the area of communication and expression. Our nature is a communicating being and that brings us to the territory of sensation and, and tonal uh, emotional sensory granulation and 
which is the foundation for having access to our compass, our truth, how we know what we know, and then how to take what we know, be lively and kind in the world, and and express it with our full range of expressions of um, capability, from power to delicacy, from lingering connected to quick and alert and bright. So expressive availability that is, is, is just good for us both for our emotional range and resilience. And this material is crucial for people in the arts, expressive beings. So um, I'm so, such fun, such fun material. In the fall, we'll come back to, we'll take all that, our, our foundational moving being, our nature as an expressive being, and we'll look at how we apply that and work with that in the world. So the kind, how we use language to support some of the perspectives that you've learned and sort of steeped in in the rest of the year. So it's kind of a pedagogical territory and meeting what what's useful to set up this as a as a teacher and a learner and interestingly I find that works backwards because the very language that's kind of easier to talk about in setting up an experiment for someone else is actually sets ourselves up it's like we reflect it back so it's what kind of how do you talk to yourself what words do you use to yourself how do you keep setting up um, the conditions to learn and thrive and grow and we'll find out more about what the fall is about as we get there. I'm really clear about the first two. So that's Homeless in 12 for 2021. You could always engage with the work through individual lessons. If there's something where it feels like you really want to work on something yourself, and so it's much more really immediately personal, um, you could do a series of individual lessons. I like to do two or three at a time and sort of in sets. Um, you definitely get into an individual lesson with each session of Wholeness in 12. There's also learning methods classes that is a, it's kind of a complement to the Wholeness in Motion, which is immersing you in healthy perspectives and freedom. The learning methods work is a method of investigating when you've got an obstacle in your way. It's really a method of inquiry. So those are the three core pieces of work learning methods to sort of unravel misconceptions or see how we're how we are conceiving the world learning um, homeless in 12 which kind of supports a healthy perspective individual work that really always weaves between those and draws on many other material and then the immersion program several people do because it, it kind of gives you the big picture you do homeless in 12 individual lessons, 12 individual lessons, and all of the wholeness in um, motion, uh, wholeness in 12 material. So I highly recommend the immersion program. It's so satisfying because things go quite deep in that. So join us for wholeness in motion if that fits you, if that feels right to you. And um, if you join us, I am always honored um, to meet you and, and, and grateful to learn from all that you bring to the table as we explore together what it is to be whole and our full selves in this world. Thank you.